Good evening, guys. This is another day. We know we have taken time, but we are back, okay? Today I have guests that I want them to welcome you to our studio, okay? Hi, back guys. To you. Share. And they can watch, okay? You can watch. Yes, you can watch. Yeah, I have my secretary here. Ah, you can come and I greet our viewers. Hi guys. Mm -hmm. I'm back again. I like your support. Continue supporting us. We let's work together. Let's learn together. Uh, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and you're going far. Yeah, thank you. So you can uh, welcome them. Let them now uh, enjoy the video. See you next time. God bless you. Bye. Thank you. Welcome. Today we are giving you the solution for MQTC episode 009. The question was, given that the three points... A, B, and C lie on the circumference of a circle as shown below. Find the center of the circle. The points are A, 1, 5, B, 5, 5, C, 6, 4. And the center O is here A as shown. We let the center to have the coordinates X and Y. Using the concept of factors 1, we can be able to find the magnitude of OA, the magnitude of OB, and the magnitude of OC. Remember, this OB, OA, OC are the radi of the circle. So the, the radius of that is OA will be the same as OB, will be the same as OC. Let's go down to calculations. Uh, for us to get OA, which gives us the radius in this particular case we will start by saying radius squared is equals to we take x minus 1 then we square plus we take y minus 5 then we square simplifying this one it will give us x squared minus 2x then plus 1 plus y squared minus 10 y then plus 25 this is the, i've used the rule of expansion we can now put like terms together we will have x squared plus this y squared next is minus 2x minus 10 y then we have 1 plus 25 which gives us 26 that becomes our first equation Let's use now the point O and B. Uh, o, B, magnitude, it will give us the radius 2, which will be R squared is equals to X minus 5, X minus 5 squared, then plus Y minus 5 squared. When we expand this, we are going to get X squared minus 10 X plus 25 then plus y squared minus 10y then plus 25 putting like terms together we will have x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 10y then 25 plus 25 gives us 50 that's our second equation let's go to oc the magnitude of OC will give us the radius. So we will say radius squared is equals to x minus 6, x minus 6 squared plus y minus 4 squared. Expanding, we get x squared minus 12x plus that 6 uh, plus y squared. Then we will say, we will say minus 8y then plus 16. Putting like terms together, x squared plus y squared minus 12x, then we have minus 8y, we have that 616, which will give us 52. So this is our, that equation. So what we will do, uh, 
what we will do, we will take equation 2, we subtract equation 1 from there, then we will take equation 3 minus equation 2. So let's start. We, you can see equation 2 is here. We have x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 10y plus 50. First equation is x squared. Remember this is r squared. r squared is equal to then plus y squared. Uh -huh. This is 2x minus 10y plus 26. When we subtract, we will get uh, this is 0. 0 here. Everything here is 0. You can see. Minus 10x minus minus 2x. It will be minus 8x. Minus 10y minus minus 10y is 0. 50 minus 26 is um, positive 24. If we take this minus 8 to the other side, it will be positive. 8x is equals to 24. Now we have 8x is equals to 24. We divide by 8. We divide by 8. Therefore, our x becomes 3. Let's go to the third, to the third equation. In this case, we have x squared. That's r squared is equals to uh, x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 8y, then plus 52. Uh, our second equation is r squared is equals to x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 10y, then plus 50. If we subtract, we will get 0 is equals to 0 here. Minus 12x, then minus minus 10x is minus 2x. Minus 8y minus minus 10y is plus 2y. 52 minus 50 is 2. So we can take minus 2x to the other side. Again, we get we take this positive 2 back. It will be a minus. This is equal to 2y. Remember, we have gotten the value of x as 3. We can substitute there and say 3 times 2 minus 2 is equal to 2y. This is 6 minus 2 is equal to 2y. Therefore, this gives us 4 is equal to 2y. You divide by 2, you divide by 2. You, our value of y becomes 2. Our center O will have the coordinates 3, 2. So that's how you want to find uh, the center uh, of this particular circle. Thank you for listening to me. You can move to the next page. You wait before you stop watching. There is the question for MQTC episode 010. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. The question for MQTC episode 010 is here for us. The question says a plane leaves point A whose coordinates are 84 degrees south, 10 degrees east, and flies due north for six and a half hours at a speed of 468 knots. It reaches a point B, whose coordinates are alpha degrees south, 10 degrees east, and then flies west to point X for one hour 20 minutes at the same speed. Find the value of alpha and the length and the longitude of x. Good lucky. Do you know that on our channel you can still make some cash by just visiting our homepage and clicking on the community tab? In there, you can participate on Mwalimu Nyamban Channel Care, that is MNC Care program, and win gifts every week that is a hundred kenya shillings by friday at 7 30 pm thank you for listening to me see you next time bye bye